good day. My name is Arnest Nitzer and um, I'm from the currently from the Faculty of Theology and Religion at the University of Pretoria. Previously, I taught at the Northwest University as Faculty of Theology. Um, when we planned this book, the book's name is A Critical Engagement with Theological Education in Africa, uh, a South African Perspective. The, my previous colleague, Prof. Alfred Branston, worked with me, and I want to hand over to him to introduce himself and tell us a bit more about the research in the book. Good afternoon or good day. My name is uh, Alfred Branston. I'm a professor in, in practical theology with the Faculty of Theology of the Northwest University. Um, this whole issue of theological education in, in Africa is uh, quite a complex one. Uh, there are a, a number of enduring issues which require ongoing reflection, such as epistemologies, methods, and where, for example, formation fits into the picture. And myself and, and Hannes uh, have been teaching alongside one another for a, a number of years in a multicultural context. And for some time, we wanted to contribute to this discourse and having access to a number of networks, we decided to initiate a collection or a collective book on, on this topic. Um, and we had a good response from uh, authors wanting to take part in the project uh, from the African context and abroad. And um, collective works like these usually develop a, a very unique dynamic and uh, when we gathered, gathered all the material, uh, we saw that we were also able to divide uh, the book into different sections, uh, of which Anis may tell you maybe about the, the first two uh, sections of the book, please, Anis. Thank you, Alfred. Section A is about the historical and current perspectives. Um, in, from a South African perspective. And uh, there we attend to the history of mission and how it influenced theological education. Um, and then uh, the achievements and challenges with reference to Africa in the current perspectives. And then there's an interesting chapter on the epistemic becoming of students in higher education, uh, di uh, decolonial lens, um, which we um, put on. And in the second section, we talk about the paradigm shifts that uh, take place in Africa, um, where we have seven chapters. I'm not going to name all of them, but it uh, includes things like ACTIA, the Association for Accreditation for Theological Education in Africa, um, it has to do with a, a chapter on African hermeneutics, um, the importance of calling. And we also had the chapter specifically on the French speaking Africa, and we included a, a French chapter as an appendix. Uh, the translated one in English is within the book. Um, all of these are very relevant and important paradigm shifts in Africa in relation to theological education. But, um, and, and I want Alfred now to just tell us about the last two sections of the book, please. The third uh, section of uh, this book is on the, the very relevant uh, theme of ministerial formation needs versus theological education challenges. Uh, this is quite a, a theme that, that you will often find in, in these type of discourses. Um, how do we also, when we provide theological education, also attend to the very important issue of ministerial formation? And I think um, of the four chapters here, especially the last one in the section by Abram Gaga, um, who talks about trans the transformational impact of facilitation over lecturing, uh, is, I think, a, a very uh, important part of this particular uh, discourse in this section. And then the last section, uh, only two chapters in the last section, which deals with uh, a critical uh, reflection on elective models and methods, also, of course, from a South African perspective. 
And um, these two uh, chapters, I think, is, is quite a, a robust uh, engagement with uh, the topic. Uh, chapter 15 that talks about uh, the, the whole uh, impact of Western theological training on Africa, which is a very prominent theme within the broader debate of theological higher education, especially on the African uh, continent. And then the last chapter in this section uh, by Marius Nell deals with uh, the influence of hermeneutics on theological education. So in the end, four um, different themes that we try to address uh, in this book. And maybe, Anis, you can reflect a little bit on um, what you think the, the impact of uh, this book will be um, in this whole uh, discourse about theological higher education in, in Africa? Um, I think the, the value of the book is within the variety of the perspectives that we find within the book. Um, and, and it um, includes a lot of information that will benefit anyone who is serious about theological education in Africa. I think the other benefit or the value of the book is that a lot of uh, um, Africans has, from all over Africa has written it. And I think all of the authors are um, teaching theology as well. Um, but the, most of all, I am excited to read about um, and being uh, involved in what God is busy doing with theological education in Africa. I have mentioned the paradigm shifts that are taking place, um, but I think um, if we recognize that God is busy working through theological education with his church in Africa, that excites me. And to be part of that is very exciting. Um, maybe you can conclude for us with your thoughts, um, Alfred, please. Uh, yes, indeed. If I have to say, um, you know, a few things about what I think the, the, the value of, of this um, collective work is, um, I do agree with you, Anas, in terms of the eclectic approach. Um, you know, viewing uh, theological education in Africa uh, through a, a, a mission lens, for example, giving some overview of, of the history. Uh, the historical developments of theological education in, in Africa. They are really, um, I think, something for for anybody who is interested uh, in the, the field of, of theological higher education in Africa. And what I also gathered when, when reading through the manuscript once again is that many of these chapters um, can stand on their own as well. So there are a, a number of very strong contributions that 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 can stand alone also, uh, depending on, on the field of, of theological case, education in which the reader will be interested. Um, and I think also for, for anybody who has got an, an active academic interest uh, in uh, theological education should read this, this book. Um, because it, it uh, brings you into the picture, uh, a current picture of what is going on on this terrain. And I think above all, it really stimulates uh, one's thinking on this topic. As, as I mentioned before, some of the, the discourses in this book was uh, quite robust. Uh, so that from my side, uh, a few thoughts uh, on the book. I hope that um, the viewers of this uh, material will will find it interesting and uh, will also show interest in i think this very important uh, contribution on on this topic thank you